Happy New Year from Smart Remarks, where our resolution is to keep after the gut and keep after the wingers. So the Republican National Committee is looking for a new leader, and one of the main guys in contention is a former Tennessee GOP chair by the name of Chip Saltzman, who, in a bid to win supporters, sent out a CD uh, with a bunch of songs on it, including a tune called Barack the Magic Negro. Barack the Magic Negro lives in D.C. Now, you might have heard about this. It was written by a satirist named Paul Shanklin. It's sung to the tune of Puff the Magic Dragon, and it's been featured on the Rush Limbaugh radio program. Of course. In it, a guy who's supposed to sound like Al Sharpton talks about how white people only voted for Obama because he was black. And the lyrics uh, talk about real black men like Snoop Dogg and me and Louis Farrakhan because, see, see, all black men are like Snoop Dogg and Al Sharpton and Louis Farrakhan, and that's funny stuff. <laughs> you know, you spend your weekends wandering around in a white hood. Some Republicans have condemned the song and and, uh, Saltzman's ill-advised use of it, but Saltzman also has his supporters, including Rush Limbaugh, who reposted the song on his website last week, of course. And the Politico.com even reported this week that the whole controversy might actually help Saltzman's bid. And I thought, you know, of course it will. Look, the beauty of movement conservatism is it long ago learned how to speak in dog whistle. You use a term like magic negro, and it may originate within the black community itself, but the balding white males who listen to Rush have no idea where it came from, and really they don't care. They like it for one specific reason. It allows them to use the word negro, negro, negro. You see, you can't use that other N-word, but you can use this one. It's a good substitute. And then you can even turn around and claim, oh, no, I'm not being racist. Right. Meanwhile, Republicans with a brain realize how bad this looks, realize that America has caught on to the dog whistle business, and things like this make them look every bad as people like me say they are. But those with their heads shoved firmly up their AM receivers, they're not going to give any ground on this. They're not about to change. They know what's right. They know what's wrong. They still see things in terms of black and white. And they know on which side of the divide they stand. <laughs> 